On Monday, we first brought you the story of a woman who was hit by a garbage truck. Now, it happened near North Oakland Avenue and East Silver Street in Sharon. First News reporter Jacob Thompson spoke with a person who knows the woman and her family. On Monday morning, Stephanie Tubb was walking to work just like any other day. As she got near the intersection of North Oakland Avenue and East Silver Street, her life changed. We heard there was an accident a few hours after the accident, and then we found out who it was. According to an initial report, Tubb was flown to the hospital by a medical helicopter. She had both legs amputated along with other injuries. Brenda Warrior works at the Buell Club where Tubb and her husband drop off two of their children for daycare. An almost two-year-old little girl and a three-year-old little boy. They also have an 11-year-old daughter, Warrior tells me the parents are dedicated. Both Tubb and her husband work similar shifts so they could be with their children in the evening. Whatever those children would need, um, they put those children's needs first um, to, to make them be successful. While the family is going through these hardships, the Buell Club wanted to help. They offered their services for free to the two young ones. They need to be here right now. They need to keep their stability until they can find a new normal. But the Buell Club isn't where the kindness ends. People have donated anything and everything the family could need. When a tragedy occurs, when you're in a, a little community like this, that we're here to help and support each other, come together. That's the benefit of living in this area. If you wish to donate, you can contact the Buell Club. Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.